Howdy y'all, 7-4 is today. Problem solving, choose an appropriate equation. Now remember when we do our problem solving lessons that they kind of sidetrack from the main point of the topic which is division for seven. So keep that in mind when you're solving these problems that everything might not be division or it might be, we'll have to check it out. Now this is an important skill for people to have because when you're in a, the real world, you don't just sit down and get the problem that you need to solve. 25 divided by 5. You have to really look at the information you have and decide what you need to do with it. So number one says Callie has 15 cards. She makes three stacks of cards. How many cards are in each stack? Now we have a couple options here. We have division, subtraction, addition, and you need to ask what is the problem asking us to do? So I've went ahead and I've already drawn three stacks because these are my cards and I know that I have to have 15 cards that I'm going to put in these three stacks. So I'm going to sort those out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So those are my fifteen cards that I put in three stacks. I know I have five cards in each stack. So I'm going to go ahead and look over here and see which one of these problems has to do with my picture here. So it looks like I have 15 cards that I divided into three stacks to get five, and five was my unknown, so that's gonna be my n. So 15 divided by three equals n, that one would work, but I'm gonna go ahead and look at my other options just in case. n divided by three equals 15. Now I know my answer isn't 15, my answer is five, so I can cross that one out. And then 15 minus three, well, n is my unknown, but if I have 15 and I take away three cards, that question would read something like, Callie has 15 cards and loses three cards. How many does she have left? And then d would be 3 plus n equals 15. Now, we know that that would equal 12, and so that would the answer to that would be if I had maybe three cards and I added 12 more cards to get 15. But we know we sorted them, shared them equally into three groups, so it has to be a division problem. Let's look at number two. The pet shop has five fish tanks. There are eight fish in each tank. How many fish are there in all? So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my five tanks. One, two, three, four, and five tanks, and eight fishies in each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 So I have my five tanks and eight fish in each tank. Now this one can be a little bit difficult because it could either be a division or a multiplication because I'm dealing with equal groups. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cross off my addition, cross off my addition, and I'm gonna figure out which one of these would be what I'm talking about. Let's take a look at C. C says that I have eight total that I'm divided into an unknown amount of groups and there's five in each group. Well, I'm looking in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I have more than five, so I'm gonna go ahead and look at B. N, my unknown, equals eight fish times five tanks. So I have eight groups of five or five groups of eight, depending on how you look at it. And I have one, two, three, four, five groups of eight. So B is definitely my answer. Now, if you really wanna look at what you're doing, uh, focus on what the question is actually asking. How many fish are there in all? I have a lot of people who wanna answer questions or just throw the numbers together. Oh, five and eight in a problem, five plus eight equals 13. But they're not actually focusing on what does the question want to know? And that's the key.